Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this we are going to find out the Z transform of sin and theta and cos and theta. Okay, so these are the elementary results that we need to remember in order to solve problems. Okay, so let us see uh, how we can uh, find out Z transform of sin and theta and sin uh, and theta and cos and theta. For that we need to recollect uh, one transform z transform of uh, standard sequence that is uh, z transform of a to the power a okay so we start with we know that we know that z transform of a to the power n is z upon z minus a okay this is the z transform of a to the power n that you need to remember and will make use of it to find out the z transform of sin n theta and cos n theta okay so put put a is equal to e to the power iota theta okay so what should be a to the power n a to the power n would be e to the power iota theta power n and this should be e to the power iota e to the power iota n theta by d movius theorem that we have already learned in the lower classes d movius theorem e to the power i theta power n is e to the power i n theta and you know what is e to the power i n theta is cos n theta plus iota sin n theta okay so this is my a power n okay now this z transform of a to the power n is same as what is it z transform of what is a to the power n e to the power iota n theta okay so what should be its a uh, transform if it is uh, a to the power n we write z upon z minus a or instead we write it as e to the power i theta n for better understanding so for e to the power i theta power n it should be z upon z minus e power iota theta now here we are going to make use of the elementary or the algebra of complex number okay so to solve this complex number division of complex number we have to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator multiply and divide by the conjugate of this denominator so my question is if z minus e to the power i theta is any complex number then what should be its complex conjugate so you can pause the video for a few seconds and try to write down or try to uh, get the complex conjugate of this so that we can move ahead so have a piece a piece of paper and a pen and try to write down its uh, complex conjugate so i hope you might have uh, written the complex conjugate of this so what is the complex conjugate of this the complex conjugate of this would be yes multiply by z minus e to the power minus iota theta i hope you also you also got the same z minus e to the power minus iota theta okay so don't change the polarity minus plus okay when it is like 2 plus 3i we write its conjugate as 2 minus 3i this is not the case here okay So, what is it then? Z into Z, Z square minus Z e to the power iota theta upon, multiply this, don't think like it is Z minus e to the power i theta whole square. This is i theta, this is minus i theta. So, this is Z into Z, Z square minus Z e to the power minus iota theta minus Z e to the power iota theta minus minus plus e to the power 
iota theta e to the power minus iota theta okay so here bases are same indices will add so this will give you e to the power 0 which is 1 so this is like z square minus z e to the power iota theta upon this can be written as z square i can take minus z common from here and write it as e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus iota theta plus this is 1 okay now i am gonna write this one as uh, the formula for circular function cos and circular function sine as this is plus so this is going to be a cosine circular function what is cosine circular function cosine circular function is e to the power iota theta plus e to the power minus iota theta by 2 so this term will get replaced by 2 cos theta so this is z square minus z into e to the power i theta can be written as cos theta plus iota sin theta upon this can be written as z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 okay now at last what you need to do we have the left hand side so let me write it further So we have the left hand side z of a to the power n and what is a to the power n z of a to the power n is equal to z transform of cos n theta plus iota sin n theta is equal to what is it we got this z square minus z into cosine theta co uh, cos theta plus iota sin theta upon z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 okay now what you can do you can just solve this uh, separate this iota and all these things and just equate real and imaginary part isn't it so let me solve it further So this is equal to z transform of cos n theta applying the linearity property plus iota z transform of sin n theta is equal to. Now applying the linearity property to this you will be getting z square minus z cos theta okay upon z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 plus plus into minus this is minus iota z sin theta upon z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 simple now you can equate the real part and imaginary part you will get the required z transform of sine and theta and cosine and theta so on equating on equating real and imaginary part on equating real and imaginary parts we get so what you'll be getting z transform of cos and theta is z square minus z cos theta upon this and what about z transform of sin and theta minus of z sin theta upon this quantity okay so we'll be getting z transform of cos n theta is equal to z square minus z cos theta upon z square minus 2z 2 cos theta plus 1 and z transform of sin n theta is equal to minus z sin theta upon z square minus 2z 
cosine theta plus 1. And this completes the z transform of sine n theta and cosine n theta. So I hope uh, the things that have been discussed in this is clear to you. So thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.